Thanks to the successful layout and many original solutions, Renault Scenic I has become a bestseller among compact MPVs. What should you pay attention to when buying a used car? French engineers made a small revolution in the automotive industry, creating on the basis of the passenger car Renault Megane the Scenic Compact Van, which formerly belongs to the Golf class, but surpasses much larger cars in internal volume. The scenic body iron is galvanized and also treated with an anti-corrosion compound, but the durability of the paint and lacquer-coated specimens of the first years of production is mediocre, and after a long domestic operation, paint chips appear on the lower parts of the body, mainly on the edges of the wheel arches, from under which rust begins to break through. In general, the resistance of the body to corrosion is high, and if the car hasn't been in a serious accident so don't worry. With passive safety, the entire Megane family is doing well, and the Scenic is no exception in this regard. This is achieved due to the special structure of the power elements of the body, evenly distributing the impact energy, and, moreover, due to airbags, which are present even in the six basic configuration. The claims about safety are not unfounded and are backed by serious evidence, this was verified by a series of crash tests conducted independently by several reputable organizations. However, this body structure has a downside, even after a small accident, restoring a broken copy is expensive and difficult, but a car is just a piece of iron that costs money, and, alas, it's impossible to buy health and even more life. This car is simply amazing with the number of various pockets, glove compartments, drawers, allowing you to place in them an incredible amount of necessary and not very things. Sometimes it's even difficult to find where the required item lies. With the capacity of the scenic, the situation is excellent and all five passengers, regardless of physique, will feel very comfortable even on long journeys. This is also achieved through the individual adjustment, back and forth, of each of the three rear seats, any of which, if necessary, can be quickly removed. For the convenience of rear passengers in the backs of the front seats are mounted folding tables, reminiscent of aircraft. In most cars, the interior is velayer, but sometimes leather is also found. The volume of the trunk, depending on the number and position of the rear seats, varies from 410 to 1800 liters, not every large station wagon can boast of such a displacement. So long. The high driving position provides excellent visibility. And with the ergonomics of the controls, everything is in order. The level of comfort is high, and all cars are equipped with extensive power accessories, power steering, air conditioning or climate control, ABS, and on some instances there is a heated windshield and a power sunroof. It is also worth mentioning the efficiency of the heating and ventilation systems of the cabin, in which even in severe frost it is warm both in front and behind. However, when buying, be sure to check that all modes of the stove work, since failures of the mechanism that controls the modes are not uncommon. And the wipers can also behave incorrectly, especially in winter. And in general, one of the weak points of this model is an electrician. However, troubles do not begin to appear immediately but after several years of intensive year-round operation, especially in cold weather. Engine. The Scenic was equipped with 1.4 liter, 95 horsepower, 1.6 liter, 75, 90, and 108 horsepower, and 2.0 liter, 113 or 138 horsepower, petrol engines, as well as turbo diesels 1.9 L, 90 or 102 horsepower. The domestic market is dominated by 1.6, and 2.0 liter gasoline engines and diesel engines are rare with any of the engines the minivan has good dynamics and efficiency so with a not the most powerful 1.6 liter unit acceleration from standstill to hundreds takes just over 11 s and the fuel consumption of a 2.0 liter engine with automatic transmission in the urban cycle does not exceed 12 liters with the mechanical part of the engines no problems arise for a long time but with the rest everything is not so great the rest is primarily electrical. The starter and generator do not differ in good health, and glitches of various sensors and oxidized connectors often cause a lot of trouble. In fairness, it should be noted that during the warranty period, usually no serious damage was observed, but then, as lucky. And one more thing, with the 2.0 liter engine installed before the 1999 upgrade, repeated cases of difficult starting after overnight parking, especially in winter or rainy time were recorded. Often, the problem could not be treated by traditional methods, and to solve it, it was necessary to use folk remedies, for example, such as removing the engine compartment of a computer and treating its contacts with a moisture-displacing spray. 
In addition to electrical ailments, they are not encouraging with a large engine support resource. Transmission. For the model, a 5-speed manual gearbox and a 4-speed automatic were offered, usually installed with a 2.0-liter gasoline engine. Both units are quite reliable, and problems with them arise only with the solid mileage. The front suspension is a traditional McPherson strut, and the rear suspension is the original four-torsion bar, which servicemen describe as indestructible. In the front, everything also serves for a long time, but the sedent blocks of the front levers are the first to end, but this does not happen all at once, but that the process has started is reported by a gradually increasing typical knock. When driving on a road surface with large irregularities, the car has a noticeable longitudinal buildup, which, given the high center of gravity, is quite unpleasant. On cars officially sold in our country, due to spacers, the ground clearance is increased, which does not have the best effect on handling, but makes it easier for them to endure broken roads. Also, on specimens adapted to our conditions, process fluids were used, designed for frost and more powerful generator and battery. This feature should be taken into account when purchasing this model, but, as practice shows, purebred Europeans can withstand our conditions well. I would like to note that the secondary market now offers a lot of freshly brought from Europe scenic. The question is what is better to buy, a car that ran along our roads, but was serviced at a company station and has a real service book, and therefore not a twisted mileage, or European with a foggy foreign past in each case is solved differently. In 2000, the all-wheel drive version debuted with the RX4 index. On it, all-wheel drive is implemented as follows, with normal traction, the car drives in front-wheel drive mode, but as soon as the drive wheels begin to slip, viscous coupling connects the rear axle. All-wheel drive drivers of the first year of production suffered from numerous childhood diseases, such as defects in the front struts, leaks in the rear axle axle shaft seals, and a number of other little things. It is necessary to take revenge that later almost all the problems of this modification were eliminated, and they deliver mostly positive emotions to their owners. The RX-4 is very different from the usual front-wheel drive. Take at least a plastic, enclosed, with which the entire body is covered almost to the belt, or a spare wheel, placed on the tailgate. However, this version cannot be equipped with wheels of different sizes or uneven wear, and even a long trip with a half-flat tire can lead to the failure of an expensive viscous coupling. Also, we must not forget that this is an off-road passenger car, and not an SUV, and serious off-road trips can end sadly. In general, the Scenic is a very interesting car that successfully combines functionality, comfort, whiteness, safety, and low price. This is a great option for a small, modest, but roomy family vehicle. But still I would like to warn against buying a copy, the mileage of which greatly exceeds 150,000 kilometers, since in this case significant cash injections may be required. Suspension. By 100,000 kilometers, it is usually necessary to replace the ball bearings and silent blocks of the front levers. In order not to pay twice for the work, it is worth adding new shock absorbers with thrust bearings to this. Both manual and automatic transmission are reliable, and problems may appear only after 150,000 km of run. The mechanical part of all motors installed on the machine is reliable, but electricity can fail. This is especially true for the starter and alternator. The rear axle gearbox of all-wheel drive modifications can cause trouble with leakage from under the seals. It's good that it is quite reparable. The front suspension every 60 to 80,000 kilometers requires the replacement of struts and stabilizer bushings. The quality of the paintwork of the cars of the first years of production was far from ideal, and the sills and edges of the wheel arches suffered primarily from corrosion.